thinking about getting solar? If you are, I bet you have a lot of questions. Your first question might be, what exactly are the benefits of solar for homeowners? Installing solar on your home comes with many advantages, such as reduced energy costs. Connecticut has very high electric rates. By reducing grid reliance, solar panels help cut energy costs. Also, solar may provide additional income. You receive payments for any excess solar power that your array supplies to the grid. Those concerned about air quality will also appreciate the fact that solar reduces pollution. The Connecticut grid still relies heavily on methane gas, the leakage and combustion of which emits pollutants. Electricity from your solar system comes from the sun and does not produce emissions. Solar may also increase your home value. Many home buyers are attracted to homes with lower energy bills. And solar increases resiliency and energy independence. Producing your own power reduces your vulnerability to fossil fuel price volatility. And when paired with battery storage, your solar array can provide power during a grid outage. Your next question might be, what is the return on investment? Well, for homeowners who lease the solar panels, there are no upfront costs and the financial gains begin as soon as your array is connected to the grid. For homeowners who prefer to own their solar array, the long-term gains may be greater, but upfront costs are significant and vary based on several factors, including the price of the system, available incentives, and financing options. Low-cost financing is available through the Connecticut Green Bank Smarty Loan Program. The savings over time will be affected by the system's energy production as well as electricity rates. According to EnergySage.com, the average payback period for solar in Connecticut is around nine years. Now, I'm sure you want to know about the incentives, too. Let's start with the federal incentives. Solar arrays installed from 2023 through 2031 are eligible for a 30% federal tax credit during the year of installation. There is no limit, but you must have a tax bill sufficient to take the credit. However, you can carry over any unused amount of tax credit to the next year. Expenses included as part of the credit are solar panels, labor costs, permitting fees, inspection costs, developer fees, related system equipment are all eligible expenses. Also, battery storage systems over 3 kilowatt hours are eligible and Though there is currently no state sales tax in Connecticut on the purchase of residential solar panels, this would be an included cost for purchases in other states. The price for a solar array will generally range between $10,000 and $20,000 after the tax credit. Note that traditional roof materials and structural components do not qualify for the credit. However, some solar roofing tiles and shingles may qualify if they serve functions of electric generation. Now on to state incentives. The state of Connecticut has two incentives related to taxes. There is no sales tax on the purchase of residential solar arrays, and also the state has a solar property tax exemption, so you don't have to pay taxes on the increased value of your home relating to the solar. The state's main incentive program is the Residential Renewable Energy Solutions Program, also known as RRES. It is available to Eversource and United Illuminating customers, even if you have an alternate electricity supplier. Eligible customers with qualified projects receive a 20-year payment commitment from the electric distribution companies. Eligible properties include one to four family residences, and qualified multifamily affordable housing. These properties must have participated in the Home Energy Solutions or the Home Energy Solutions Income Eligible Program since 2011. This must be verified at the time of assessment or you must have proof that a service has been scheduled. However, homes built on or after January 1st, 1980 are not required to have an energy assessment in order to apply for the incentive. 
The solar installation must be sized so that the system's projected annual production is not more than a customer's highest annual consumption over any 12-month period within the last five years. Projects can be sized larger than this amount if the customer plans to install electric heat pumps and or purchase electric vehicles in the future. Systems may not exceed 25 kilowatts. State incentive rates are aimed at providing solar system owners with a 9 to 11 percent rate of return on their investment and are established annually by Pura, the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority. Participants in the RS program sell part or all of their electricity that their solar project generates back to the utility depending on which incentive rate structure they choose. There are two options, buy all and netting. Under the buy all incentive, customers interconnect their solar project directly to the utility's grid, exporting all of the power produced to the grid. Buy all participants receive compensation as either an on-bill credit to offset their monthly bill or as a monetary on-bill credit cash-out payment. Customers can only request the cash-out payment once a year. Solar owners may also choose to have the incentive paid to a third party. Customers participating in the buy-all incentive separately purchase all electricity they consume from the utility at the current retail rate. Under the netting incentive, Customers use the electricity that they produce and sell only the extra back to the grid. In months where a solar project produces less electricity than a customer uses, the customer will purchase the remaining electricity needed at current rates. In months where a solar project produces more electricity than the customer uses, excess electricity is converted to a bill credit at full retail rate offsetting future charges. Customers may receive an on-bill credit cash-out payment for any accrued monetary bill credits at the time they close their account. Effective January 1, 2024, qualified projects serving customers who have incomes at 60% or below the state median income and customers with projects in economically distressed municipalities are eligible to receive incentive adders. Qualified systems are only eligible for one adder and cannot receive both adders. See the RRES program manual for further details. Some municipal utilities also offer solar incentives. Eversource and United Illuminating distribute the bulk of electricity to Connecticut. However, in a few towns, electricity is supplied by a local municipal utility. These utilities have their own programs. Bosner Light and Power and Groton Utilities offer net metering, but both charge a fixed monthly fee along with a distribution cost recovery. Also, Jewett City Department of Public Utilities provides an incentive. Electricity exported to the grid is purchased by paying average locational marginal prices for the given month. Customers continue to pay their monthly share of the utility's fixed annual costs. Norwich Public Utilities uses a cost-avoided metering policy. Any excess generation is paid back to the customer monthly as a bill credit at the wholesale rate set by the New England Independent System Operator, ISO New England. South Norwalk Electric and Water offers only a small compensation in the form of a one-time payment based on the number of watts of solar installed, up to 10 kilowatts. The third taxing district offers a one-time incentive for solar installations up to 20 kilowatts. The array must be purchased, not leased, with no third-party providers. Energy is metered on a yearly basis. At the end of their solar year, April 1st through March 31st, they pay a small incentive for any extra electricity sent to the grid. Walling for Electric offers net metering, which is administered in concert with the Connecticut Green Bank, and financial incentives based on Connecticut Green Bank recommendations. Incentives change frequently. Always contact your utility prior to signing a contract to find out about current incentives. There are some things to consider before adding solar. Assess your current energy consumption to determine the appropriate size of the solar system needed. Add enough solar to accommodate future EVs and heat pumps. 
use the project sunroof or other tools to evaluate the suitability of your rooftop for solar. If solar on your roof is not a possibility, you may be able to install a ground mount. Also consider that solar units can last for 25 years or longer. Think twice before adding solar to an old roof. Once solar is on, installers charge on the order of $5,000 for removing and replacing the system if the roof needs repair. Specifically ask your installer, will my roof last the length of the install? Also research local zoning regulations, homeowners association rules, and permit requirements for solar installations in your area. The Connecticut Clean Air Act passed in 2022 disallowed many homeowners associations from prohibiting solar. Additionally, research solar installers and equipment brands. Ensure they offer warranties that cover the solar panels and system components. Get several quotes. And remember, the lowest offer is not always the best. As with any equipment, maintenance and upkeep is essential. Maintenance is minimal, but ask about such needs, including cleaning, potential repairs, and regular system checks. When installing solar, consider adding an energy storage system to provide backup during outages and to take advantage of further incentives. If you decide to sell your home, understand how the solar panel system lease can be transferred to a new owner. Finally, be sure to thoroughly review the contract and the warranties provided by the solar installer before committing. Ask about the soft costs and what they cover. Soft costs can increase the cost of a project by as much as 50%. By carefully considering these factors, homeowners can make informed decisions about installing solar panels, decisions that align with their energy goals, financial situation, and the specific characteristics of their property. Also be aware that the installation and connection to the grid is generally measured in months, not days. According to Eversource, residential solar installations in Connecticut tend to take four to five months to complete from contracting until you can turn on the system. Get more information about what you should know before installing solar panels. Visit the Connecticut Green Bank's Residential Solar Options page. Download the PACE Solar Get Started with Confidence checklist, as well as our Solar in Connecticut series booklets. And remember to check out the PACE Energy Incentives page. Go to our website at pace, P-A-C-E, cleanenergy.org.